Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Facebook Live. I'm Harry, joined by Duck as always. Hello folks. Please leave your questions in the comments below and I'm sure we'll get round to doing it. And the Happy New Year. And yes, Don't forget. Guys, Happy New Year. First live stream of 2020 of the yes. decade as well. Yes. Uh, so please leave uh, your questions in the comments below or just let us know which country you're tuning in from uh, or you can even leave a fire or a fox emoji in the comments as well to let us know that you're uh, tuned in live. Firefox. Firefox. See what he did there, very folks? Very clever, very clever. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Firefox has had a zero day update that's literally just come out. Um, so Doug, let's start at the uh, beginning really with what we would finish with at the end. What do you need to do and why do you need to do it? Right, there's a bug in Firefox which means that a crook could send content into your browser that would trick your browser into running a small program without asking you and obviously that's super bad and crooks are already using this trick apparently and the update came out uh, 72.0.1 just two days after the last official update so the fact that you had an update two days ago doesn't mean you can put this one off go to help about firefox or firefox about firefox if you're on a mac and that will tell you your current version and if you're out of date it'll say do you want to update now do it because that way you get back ahead of where the crooks already are that's why it's important mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, security patches do come out all the time, stuff like yep. this. Uh, they're re we're regularly telling everyone, you know, patch early, patch often, which is obviously a good thing You've heard good it before here, to, folks. To, You'll hear it again by. many times. Uh, but, you know, this is a zero day. Um, so why do these generally get more airtime, uh, like these type of security holes? Right. The, well, it's important to recognize what we mean by the, this term zero day. You hear it fortunately less and less frequently because it's kind of hard to get a zero day which is an attack that the crooks figure out before the good guys figure out so technically there's a there's there are zero days during which you could have been patched in advance so basically a zero day is an attack where we realize after the crooks were already all over this so that means we're kind of catching up and that's why zero days get more publicity, particularly in your browser, because it means you could have gone somewhere, you could have been tricked, even if you're one of those super diligent people who make sure you're up to date all the time. So that's why zero days get more publicity than a regular bug, because it means that they're patched after they were being exploited or abused by crooks rather than before. Now the good news is that zero day attacks against browsers, thanks to all the security precautions and the, the new programming styles that are used by browser development teams, it's much, much harder to come up with an attack that nobody else has thought of, not even including the people who work on securing the browser first. So zero days in browsers are fortunately quite rare. Firefox's last one was, I think, six months ago. Um, but even so, it does mean that you're kind of behind the eight ball and the best thing to do is get out in front of it, get the patch. That's why zero days get more publicity than other things because generally speaking, they are more important to deal with fast. Yeah. Um, so this, uh, this attack, Mozilla has actually said that this has been a targeted attack. Um, does That's this make it any said, better yes. or worse in this case for it being targeted? Yeah, we don't know much. All that we have is sort of a one-liner from Mozilla saying we are aware of targeted attacks using this zero-day bug in the wild. So in the wild means real crooks or real attackers are actually busy exploiting this hole. And when you hear the words targeted attack, mm often what people infer that to mean is well it's some nation state or it's a state-sponsored attacker it's someone with absolutely loads of money and then they they haven't let this attack be known to the general cyber crook the main reason being that as i said before zero day attacks against browsers are much harder to find these days mm. and therefore if you get one you tend to want to keep to it to yourself however if one person found it, then a second person could have, a third person could have, or that first person could have shared it with other people and we just don't know yet. So a targeted attack, it could mean that they're looking for particular people, mm, you know, okay. maybe activists or politicians or someone like that, or it could just be that what it really means is we've only seen this in use on one website and therefore we think we got in not quite in time but almost in time mm. so it's hard to say what that means so it's neither bad nor good nor different the important thing here is in the wild what that means is this is not a theoretical bug it's one that is being actively exploited in order to get people's browsers to misbehave for malevolent purposes 
Okay. Um, so I think what we can do to kind of wrap up, we'll finish it off in the same vein that we've done with the actual Naked Security article that we've uh, written about this uh, right. topic. Um, so we've finished with a section called um, Notes to Tor Users. So Tor Users are all about privacy, uh, keeping anonymous online. So Correct. how do they actually come into this whole scenario? Yes, the reason we put that special thing, so if you, if you, if you, if you have heard of Tor or you do use Tor or you know someone who uses Tor, it's short for the Onion Router, and it's basically a way of browsing the internet which goes out of its way to disguise where you are. So it bounces your traffic around through three other randomly chosen um, computers around the world. And so you emerge and also includes a browser that's specially built and specially configured to be more secure than the settings that most people use in their day-to-day -day browser, whether it's Chrome or Edge or Safari or Firefox. Yeah. But the, so a lot of people use Tor because they want to remain comparatively anonymous online. They don't want to be tracked. Maybe they're doing research into cybersecurity. Maybe they're looking at something that they don't want to be traced or followed. You know, there could be legitimate or bad reasons for doing that, doesn't really matter. The point is that if you use Tor, when you install it, it comes with a browser. And that browser is Firefox, as it happens. Uh, okay. It comes up as the Tor browser, but it's based on the Firefox code. And the bad news for Tor users is, Firefox did their update two days ago, their, their previous update. Tor took a day to get their update for the update out, and now there's this new one, and Tor users, who you could argue are most at risk against a targeted attack where someone's out to find you if you're an activist, for example, those people don't have a patch yet. Yeah. So Tor said they are working on this, we can expect it to come out really soon, so yeah. keep your eye on Tor updates, and if you do need to use Tor, for legitimate reasons of course, and you do want to make it a little bit more secure, we have put a workaround, what we think is a workaround that will which will sidestep this attack, temporary workaround that you can do by doing a small reconfiguration in the Tor browser. I won't explain it here. Basically, go to nakedsecurity.sophos.com, look for notes to Tor users, yeah. and uh, you will right, find awesome. out something that you can do. You can undo it when the update comes out, but we think this will render your current Tor browser immune to this risk by simply turning off the part of the browser where the bug exists. Yeah. It might slow down your browsing very, very slightly, but it shouldn't have any other effect on, other than improving your resilience to attack. No, and afterwards, when the, attack, when the patch comes out, you yeah. can turn that option back on. Perfect. Cool. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining the stream. And if we haven't uh, answered your questions live, then I'm sure we'll get around to doing it uh, once this goes on the page afterwards. So uh, until next time. Stay, Stay secure, secure and get that update, and folks. Get the update. <laughs>